Hey guys, Dekra back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to obtain the servant of Nazoth title and the method I'm going to show you is by far the easiest method available now for those of you who have tried and failed you will know that in order to get the servant of Nazoth title you have to kill 10 players of the opposite faction upon which you will receive a quest and when you activate the quest you have to kill 10 players of your own faction now what makes this hard is shortly after you kill the 10 players of the opposite faction you will get a bounty on your head and you won't be able to fly away and you will be stuck in one place in the open world and you'll have to fight off the players as they come and I have tried many times as well and I had to obtain my title the hard way but since then I've helped two of my friends obtain the title very easily um, without without any hassle at all um, they just had to do what I say and they got the title now it's not only the title um, that you will hunt with the title you get this awesome little toy here and what this toy does is when you activate it, it basically you get the same appearance that you had when you were doing the part of the quest where you had to kill 10 of your own faction now a lot of you are aware how many players like to meme around with toys and let me tell you this is the Omega of all toys just to give you guys an idea of what this does now see this demon anti here he is sitting on his on his mount safe in his home base nothing can bother him the shammy as well nothing can bother him but hang on let's see let's see if he listens to what I said nope he didn't react to it well i'm going to show you guys what this toy does right now see i'm a human warrior and i'm in borales harbor and i'm going to activate this toy boom now i can attack my own faction of course i've now got the harbor guards on me and just before they're gonna kill me I'm gonna disable this thing sorry bro <laughs> I bet you this guy is now thinking what the hey he's got no idea what's 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 spotting right now all right well back to the the title of this video and it'll be <laughs> oh goodness me they are so that is worried I'm gonna do it again downside is you can only activate this once every 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 hour so I'm now on a 59 minute cooldown but follow me and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this title this awesome title and this awesome toy and don't tell me you don't want to be called the servant of Nazoth I mean when last did we have a cool old god in the game like this all right so our place that we are going to do our PvP will be in Najatar. Right, let's get there. 
All right, so <clears throat> first of all, the, the hardest part about this is, is <clears throat> you'll have to be in a group of say five people and you can PVP around in, in the agile. Um, a lot of the time, well, most of the time, you will find a lot of Alliance players PVP in this area because we get the with overwhelming odds um, quest which a lot of people a lot of players used to gear up so there will be a lot of PvP in this specific area yeah and <clears throat> once you get the 10 kills you will get the quest from Nazoth himself he will send you the quest and you just accept don't activate right away just accept the quest and <clears throat> you have to move to the next location also be sure when you do this that you have cleared the quest in in Najatar. I mean back when it released for the first time now Najatar is basically old content but back when it released uh, we were all running around here you couldn't fly back then um, we were all running around doing the quest you had to clear the quest in this place for this to work um, we'll just focus on the map here and you'll be flying to Ashari Terrace right to this little spot right here okay now I'm actually hoping this guy attacks me so I can show you what this does let's see I don't want to actually kill him I just want him to attack me so I can show you guys what I'm talking about Okay, so you've got your, your 10 kills and you just got the quest to activate for Nazoth. Okay, let's see what he does. Nothing. Okay. So at this point here, <coughs> you want to activate your quest and you will have one hour on the clock to do this. Now what you want to do is, you want to run into this cave over here, which will put you in an instance where nobody can reach you. Even if they run into the cave right behind you, they will be put in a completely different instance. Now, inside here, you want to go either on your guild group, or your buddy list, or whatever. Um, if you're using your friends, <coughs> make sure it's friends that has two or three alts. Because every time that you kill a player, um, you will receive a 10 minute debuff. In which, where you, if you do kill him again, <coughs> it will not count for you. At all. It will not count for you. So you can only kill a player once every 10 minutes. Um, the easiest for you will be if you can get 10 buddies, um, preferably 5 at a time, um, or 4 at a time, so your group is only 5, and you tell them that you are at this spot, the Shari Terrace, and this is called my Divas Laboratory. Okay, you can always stand here. So they can pick you up on the map when they're already in your group and they're on their way to you. You can stand here. Um, remember now you'll have the form that Nazoth gives you. It's called the... The Shatar. 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 Um, which is the... Tentacly guy you become. <clears throat> so you can stand here, that's fine. And then basically your mates will arrive yeah and you just 
it's always clever to have one guy just stand over here and just look who's coming for you so basically you will queue off the players um, your friends now um, this is for the second part of the quest guys all right so you'll queue off your your mates then and you will run back into this cave immediately okay you can't kill them again on that character because now they have a debuff so then you kick the group and you form a new group and you get your next players um, just go out here and they will arrive and you can kill the next four players and when you kill them you can run back in here and kick the group get the last two players to come kill them and boom you've got the title servant of Nazoth and you also get this awesome toy which in my book is the best toy currently in the game like I just showed you guys earlier on the video you can have oodles of fun <coughs> with this toy and how I discovered this the system that I'm using is I was out farming um, the little purple flower Zen and Thids when I stumbled across a multi-boxer which I also did report to Blizzard just by the way because these guys are the disease they they break the economy and, and it's impossible to farm anything with them near but I came across this multi-boxer and he had he had a string of multi-boxers but he was very small he was like uh, he was like 200k health and what I did was I immediately figured out which one was the head and I charged this guy and I was in fury spec actually and I took him out very quickly and when the head died the rest of the boxer was quite useless killed them off quickly I got the servant of Mazoth title and I thought to myself you know I need to find a place where I can PvP and I was flying on my mount on good old invincible over here and right above this spot I got bountied okay right above this spot I got bountied and what happened then was I had to jump down and I had to find a safe spot which didn't work because as soon as I landed there was um, horde players that wanted to kill me and it was it was nasty business but i survived thanks to a healing potion or two and uh crazy insane fury healing and then i started looking for alliance players to fight and it was insane you know i, I got like guys with 500k health pool and warlocks and and mages and lucky for me I survived them all and at the last few that I had to that I had to do um, I was over here and over here was a warlock and I was fighting this guy and I was you guys I was having an awful time trying to kill this warlock this this guy just Thanks to Demon Skin, he had, he was not taking any damage. I had to really, I had to go ham on this guy. And the next moment, it's a Demon Hunter right over here. And let's say this was a Demon Hunter, and I was like on 10% health. And I leaped away like this. In, I hope that I could run into the cave and maybe quickly get a potion off. For my last chance and then I realized like I just showed you guys now with the NPC oh nothing is happening they're not coming in yet and by that time I was on eight or nine and I ran out and I got the last kill I needed but then I knew how to do it um, 
but I had to struggle for almost an hour. I had to hope and pray that I do that I've got the right the right system to to beat um, most of the players on me. Now it's 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 not always easy. You get very skilled players that hang around here, they form they form their little flowers and the Osmanite all um, I only realized the moment that I leaped in here see there it goes again it goes away and you just run out and you get the next so if you've got friends to help you that's awesome For me, it was quite hard. I had to, I had to actually PvP the whole way through. But I helped two of my friends afterwards, um, and they actually suggested that I make a video about this because so many people want this toy, and so many people want this title. I mean, it is actually a very cool title, "Servant of the Zoth." So, there you have it, guys. The the hardest part is to get the the thing. Um, kills in the beginning but you can do that in a group you can do that with other alliance or horde players what i've just showed you is not faction bound you can do it when you're horde or alliance um you can do it with your friends while trying to complete your call to arms quests or whatever and as soon as that thing is done and you receive that quest don't activate just accept fly over to this spot here right here you see there where the little pool is? That's it. Ashari's Terrace. And it's called Mardiva's Lab. Na 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 na. You guys can't get me. See, that's how easy it is. And you can form a group, invite your buddies, get the kills off when you activated the quest. And that's really all you have to do. Well guys, for the first time since I started this channel uh, about three months ago or two months ago, I'm not sure, um, I actually feel that this is the best content I have delivered up to date and it's to share um, this with you guys. Um, if you did like my video, um, please like the video guys. Um, Please subscribe to my channel and um, yeah like and subscribe that's that's all I'm asking from you guys um, it'll inspire me um, to keep on doing great videos I'm getting better with this every time every day day in day out um, and there's there's big things to come guys um, especially with PvP videos and um, also, I'll be running some mythic videos and so on in Shadowlands. So please like and subscribe, guys. Um, my channel is small. I've only recently started it. Um, I'm doing quite well with all the views. Um, it's just nowadays people don't subscribe easily. Um, it'll really help this channel if you do that. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. I hope to see you all again soon and with your new toy and your new title. But for now, that's it for me. Take care guys. Bye bye.